Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of A Splash of Paint. 60 colourful minutes of all the latest tips, tricks and techniques brought to you in association with the SAA. Let's kick off by taking a closer look at what's coming up on today's packed programme. We we'll journey back to Lancashire to continue our look at some of the wonderful works on display in the Association of Animal Artists annual exhibition. Watercolour wonder Jeff Kersey will be dropping by to show us how to complete a stunning watercolour landscape in today's Try Your Hand Up project. I'll be sharing a few more of my own simple tips to help you develop your painting techniques. SAA professional artist Terry Chip reveals how easy it is to keep your mixed acrylic paint staying moist and fresh. And our resident bookworm, Henry Malt, once again delves into the artistic bookshelf to cast a critical eye over another inspirational book. So let's get started. Settle back as we return to Lancashire for part two of our closer look at some of the more amazing artworks on display in the Association of Animal Artists annual exhibition. My name's Anne Corliss and I'm the chairperson of the Association of Animal Artists. The Association of Animal Artists was started in 2009. A number of us got together to basically try and offer exhibition opportunities, reference gathering opportunities and networking to our artists. We started off in the North West because it's, you know, we have wonderful facilities around here and lots of keen artists to join in. But it's extraordinary how it's taken off and we now have artists from all over the country who come and join in all our activities and we even have artists wanting to join from overseas. AAA is quite unique, I think, in the things that we offer to our artists because of course everybody wants exhibition opportunities and we do quite a few of those during the year. Uh, we are unique in that we have an annual exhibition every spring in Cheshire at Castle Park Arts Centre and we are the only group that's been invited to have an exhibition in the entire building and also to have it every year so we now have a base but of course it's wonderful to come to places like the Hayworth in between and show our artwork in other areas. Hello, my name is Councillor Munsif Dad, uh, and as the Deputy Mayor of Hindbin, I'm absolutely delighted to be here uh, to have a look at the uh, exhibition. And I have seen some excellent work here. I've met some wonderful people, uh, and the work that it's done, and certainly uh, some of the work that I've uh, uh, had the pleasure of uh, seeing, uh, beyond my belief, I think that uh, um, all credit to the people who organised it. Uh, and, uh, and those people who have been involved in actually doing the work is to their credit and I'm actually uh, pleased to be here uh, to open the exhibition. Hi, I'm Julie Nash. I'm a member of the Association of Animal Artists and I'm also a professional associate of the SAA. As the association, as a group, we go out on several trips a year to different animal organisations, zoos, conservation areas, and we get to go behind the scenes at a lot of these places as well, seeing um, sort of things that are not readily available to the public. So from these trips, we can get lots of reference material, which feeds into our next exhibitions. Hello, my name is Anita Young. Um, I've been a wildlife painter for approximately four years now and, and based in Cheshire. And uh, I joined the AAA only um, probably about three or four months ago, actually. But already I feel part of the association. Uh, everyone is so friendly. And um, there are exhibitions such as this, which, which give a huge, fantastic opportunity to, to artists to um, exhibit their work, whether they're amateurs or professional uh, people. And um, there's such um, a 
wide mix of, uh, of styles and media uh, and subjects as well, even though they're all within the animal, the animal kingdom. My particular passion uh, is the wolf, and this is one of the first uh, of, of a series of paintings that I plan for the Life's Eyes ser uh, series. Um, and um, I, I, I'm very keen on wolf conservation and take my reference photographs from uh, various conservation organisations around the UK that I visit from time to time. The AAA uh, has got this wonderful exhibition here at the Haworth Gallery and um, on this, this launch day it's been very busy and uh, lots of people enjoying the, uh, the exhibits and uh, I hope that we have a, a fantastic run up until the 15th of September uh, when the, the exhibition closes. My name's Jill Fox, I'm a professional artist and photographer. I'm also a trustee of the Association of Animal Artists. I started painting uh, in April 2010 um, as a way of recuperating after, after cancer. And I met up with the Association of Animal Artists at the end of 2010 and joined. And it was probably the best thing I've ever done. Since then, I have spent more time learning how to paint, looking at different styles, looking at different techniques, but also getting involved with other artists. The life of an artist is a very solitary occupation, and it is absolutely fantastic to have like-minded people that you can be in touch with and that you can meet up with, whether it's for painting or reference collecting, or just having a, a good old chat. One of my paintings ended up actually um, as a finalist in 2012 as the Artist and Illustrator Magazine Artist of the Year. And then in 2013, it went on to be BBC Wildlife Artist of the Year finalist as well. And that was the kingfisher that you can see over my shoulder. I hope people will support us and actually come and visit this fantastic place, the Haworth Gallery at Accrington. Marvellous venue with some fantastic artwork. Hi, my name is Paul Beatty. I'm a member of the Association of Animal Artists and have been for the past two years. We're here today at the Haworth Gallery in Accrington. It's a superb venue. Um, it's set in beautiful grounds. There's Four galleries of works here, well over a hundred artworks of wildlife, including my own. I have the Amur leopard here on, on my right and the Black Panther here right behind me. Um, the artwork that's here is absolutely superb, as I said, um, and the four galleries are wonderful. Uh, I've been with the AAA for now two years. Uh, we have art rendezvous, we have uh, plein air um, workshops out in the daytime. Um, we have fundraising for, for lots of different uh, wildlife and, and charities. So if you're in the area and you're, you're around Accrington or you want to make a day of it, come down to the Howarth Gallery. Um, there's plenty of brilliant works here from all the members at the AAA and uh, you'd be quite amazed at the standard of work that is here. There's more to do to make it into a full day. There's, there's acres of grounds here. It's a beautiful gallery. Um, and that's it really. I hope you've uh, enjoyed the show and uh, we hope to uh, catch you soon. Take care, bye bye. Great to see such wonderful works of animal art and remember for full details of exhibitions to enter or see visit the SAA website at saa.co.uk and check out the listings of events taking place near you. Well folks it's time for us to take a quick break now but join us in part two when we welcome special guest and my good friend Jeff Kersey as he pops into the Splashy Paint studio to demonstrate how to paint a wonderful watercolour landscape in today's Try Your Hand Up project. And I'll be showing a few more simple techniques to help you bring your paintings to life. I'll see you soon. <laughs> 